Hi guys, welcome to another thought-provoking topic on my vlog series. I am your girl, Cynthia Maddie, and if you're just tuning in for the first time, where have you been? Uh, today, I'm going to sound off on the most despised governor in Nigeria at the moment. And he is none other than Governor Rochas Okorocha who happens to be the governor of Imo State. Now, it's no longer news that Governor Rocha Sokorocha has recently erected a monumental-looking statue of the president of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, uh, who, by the way, is facing an over 700 count of corruption in his country. This is a president who has been... Uh, voted a personal non grata by his um, fellow countrymen and very typical of nigeria we happen to or let me say very typical of nigerian leadership we have we happen to just pick up the crumbs we are the ones who celebrate mediocrity we happen to be the country where people can dump just about anything from expired goods to expired human beings forgive me people but you know what i mean i don't mean that literally he spent taxpayers hard earned money 560 million naira just to erect a statue of the president um of south africa a man who did next to nothing while fellow nigerians were being killed and maimed you know under this big grammar that they call xenophobia we have lost dear brothers, dear sisters, fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters. You know, we have lost sons and daughters, you know, to xenophobia. South Africans have made it quite clear that they are not happy with Nigerians and the progress being made by Nigerians in their country, even though they mask it as Nigerians being drug dealers. Come on, how many, Niger how many percentage of Nigerians do drugs versus the percentage of Nigerians who are actually hardworking people? Well, that's a topic for another day, but my pain is that 560 million naira was used to erect a statue celebrating a man who is being dishonored in his own country, right? Rocha Sokorocha, who happens to be, you know what, let's stop calling him Rocha Sokorocha. Let's start calling him Billboard Governor. Workers are being owed salaries. Pensioners are being owed um, their pensions. There is no good road network in his state. Um, people are suffering. There is no job. Money that could have been spent on providing hospital equipment. Or even if we decide to go, you know, really, really basic. 560 million naira. Rochas or Koracha, let's just say that the Imo State Treasury is overflowing with so much money and he doesn't know what to do with the money or invest it in. He could have empowered 560 randomly selected people to make millionaires, to empower as entrepreneurs to go double that money to make their lives better. I mean, it would have been better if, you know, I had woken up to the news that Rochas Okorocha has empowered 560 Imo state indigents with 560 million naira. Fellow Nigerians, will you now agree with me that something is fundamentally wrong with our leadership? And it's, it, it goes from the zenith, the presidency, and it trickles down to the local government. Like Nigeria is a great country that has been cursed with the kind of leadership. Rochas, the billboard Okorocha and Rochas statue Okorocha happens to be, like I said earlier, one of the most despised governor at the moment because now his people are raining abuses and curses on him on social and other you know on social and traditional media now it is such a disgrace that you will be honoring a man who is facing corruption in his own country it's another way of you identifying with his corrupt practices i have a very interesting question that i would love for governor okorocha to answer because i know he's going to see this vlog I know that. Of what use and value is Jacob Zuma to Nigeria as a country? And of what use is Jacob Zuma to Imo State? Simple question. Seriously speaking, 
Nigerians, Imo State Indigenous, Egbe Wenjas, Ulu no DNA Giri, and your governor is playing Koso with your destiny. It's time to pull that statue down. Imo State youth should pull that statue down because erecting that statue is an insult to the people of Imo State. At the end of the day, this just, you know, adds to the frustrations of Nigerians in realizing that we made a huge mistake, you know, voting APC into, into power. Because when they initially started campaigning during the elections, they had good intentions. But the truth is that it will always be what it is. Good intentions will always remain good intentions if it is not acted upon. The country is going like in different directions. Nigeria is best described as a thread mill right now because you see motion, you see movement, but the country is not going anywhere. You have hospitals that are ill-funded. You have you have a, a, a president that is the most tribalistic bigot. You have leaders who don't care. You have senators who are even competing with the first lady wearing a coat with the first lady. Other countries that are developed and developing are dealing with real issues such as natural disaster. And Nigeria isn't even plagued with half the natural disaster happening around the world. But our own natural disasters are our leadership. Why? Now, I have here with me some reactions of some South Africans, and I'm just going to read it out real quick. Um, I have a, a comment by a Dudley Wells that says, isn't that the state where drug dealers come from? They are honoring him for protecting the trade. You see the kind of insult that um, Okoracha has attracted to Nigeria. His mates are looking for how to attract investments. He is attracting insult to not just the people of Igbo State, but in Nigeria as a whole. I also have another comment from, from Leon Barris Bernard, who said, Why don't they just take Zuma? We will donate him to Nigeria with a year's supply of pap on vle. I mean, th just, just imagine such insult. And I have Antonella Di Chico who says, stop wasting your money on nonsense and feed your people. If people have to actually remind you of your office or remind you of what you should be doing versus what you are doing, then you are a colossal disgrace. Uh, and the last comment that I happen to have um, gotten from some South African reactions that I have right here is from Lisa uh, Shosha, who says, can they just take him and make him a permanent resident? Well, as it happens, um, South Africans don't even want Zuma. So, Governor Rocha Sokorocha, I personally think that Rocha Sokorocha is trying to buy favor. He's trying to curry favor. Maybe he's probably looking for permanent South African residency so that when his tenure is up and people begin to unearthen the mess that he has done with that state, he can run and seek political asylum in South Africa. Emo state residents i challenge you to pull down that statue erected by governor rocha sokorocha he needs to be subjected to some kind of mental evaluation as well as spiritual evaluation because he has clearly lost touch with his people please feel free to um subscribe to this youtube channel and follow all my social media handles that will be displayed on the screen um, until I come your way again with another thought-provoking topic, stay blessed Nigerians and let's figure out the best way to deal with the, these animals in this zoo called Nigeria.